Okay, welcome back guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you to create this kind of gradient background animation using After Effects. It's a very versatile and easy technique that you can use and apply to your own production. So yeah, let's jump into After Effects and I will show you how to do it. All right, let's boot up our After Effects. We're gonna start scratching on a new composition using 25 frames. That looks good. And for the duration, we can use 20 seconds. That looks fine. And because every great work needs a very good title, let's label this one Mesmerizing Background Animation. Yeah, that looks good. We're gonna press enter or press OK here. So buckle up because we are about to create some serious eye candy and this is basically what we be creating. As you saw in the video, this technique is as versatile as a swift army knife. With a little tweaking here and there, you can mold and adapt this technique into something truly unique for your own projects and your own needs. So the possibilities are really endless here. Now that we have our project set up, we want to add some serious flair to our creation. So we're gonna add some, a very good solid. There we go, and we will name this one background. Make sure that this is comp size and just press OK. Now that we have our solid, we can add some four color gradient. So as you see, there are four colors that you can choose from. And I will use one of my like colors that I like. You can choose whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So this is the colors that I'm going to choose for today. Let's see if I can create something out of this that looks a little bit cooler. Yeah, something like this. We can always choose these guys to be a guide layer because they will not sneak into your final render. We're gonna hide this one for now. When it comes to achieving this effect, there are basically four effects in our toolbox that will help us achieve this mesmerizing look that we are after. We always start with color gradient. So this four color gradient is our main base. What we can do after this one is to add an adjustment layer and call this one effects. Then we'll bring in something called motion tile. Motion tile is a very powerful effect that kind of allow us to create seamlessly repeated backgrounds and extend our gradient background animation. It is kind of perfect to create this kind of infinite patterns that uh, cover your composition. It doesn't matter which kind of composition size that you have. With motion tile, your gradient animation can flow endlessly. So it's very good to have this endless uh, look that you are after. So what we'll do is to add a number here on output width to 350 and output height 350. And we will always check mirror edges. The other effect that we will use is called turbulent displace. So we'll add this one, turbulent displace. And to add some bits of a very elegant touch to this one, we will add an effect called wave wrap. And this effect creates always really beautiful wave-like patterns and ripples uh, in, in the comp. And it's a very good to to have these wave parameters to achieve very cool uh, looks that we are after. We want to add some kind of movement to this. And we can always kill this wave speed by entering zero in wave wrap. If we go back to our background, in our four color gradient, if you toggle down, you can see here four different points that we can kind of move around and do stuff with. We are kind of about to wander into a bit of digital labyrinth because I'm going to use something called expressions. For those who don't know, expressions are a very easy way to kind of, by adding some, some text, some code, make the parameters move and behave in certain ways. I mean, I don't want to use any keyframes, right? 
because who uses keyframes anymore? Our secret ingredient is a wiggle expression and the main purpose of that is to kind of drive these four points, not maybe all four of them, but some of the points, a movement. In this case, a circle movement that will help us animate without using any keyframes. But don't sweat it. Um, I'm dropping the expression in the description below so you can just swipe it and, and, and stamp it into your own project. If we go to point one, hold alt and just copy our basic expressions here, you will see if I just hide the effect for a second so you can see it better, you will see that there is a movement in our point here and that is exactly what we want. This is a very basic and easy expression. There is nothing very complex about it. It's just like a wiggle expression, but a little bit more complex. Not complex, but it's basically a, a wiggle expression, but in a circle of motion. So you have the speed and you have the radius here. If you change the radius and the speed, you will achieve different kind of motion. If you copy this one and also put it on maybe this guy and maybe have it on very close radius in our circle. Not maybe 200, but maybe 400, 500. Let's see. There we go. And we can change also the speed to maybe 11. I think that is too, too fast. Yeah, it's crazy fast. Maybe just one. As you see, there is a movement without any keyframes and that is a very good sign because it means less work for us. And if we kind of put back our effects on this, we will see that the effect is still working. If we go back to the effects layer here and just move, a, move around a little bit, if we look at turbulent displacement, we can always, we can maybe put out the wave wrap just to see what the turbulent displacement is doing. As you guys can see, it will create this crazy effect. And there are some limitation, but I'm going really bananas in this one right now. But if we go like, I don't know, 50 and 130, we'll have some kind of water, what is it called? Like paint water, water paint? What is it called? Paint water, water paint? Paint water, no. It has some kind of a water color look to it. So yeah, this is good because this is what we want. What we can do is also turn on our wave wrap. And this one is also really crazy because you can't, kind of achieve different kind of looks by just having different uh, settings. So you guys can see this one is really cool. What we can do after is to kind of go to saw tooth, maybe even changing the the quality to medium. So we have this really cool effect here. This is the effect basically. By kind of combining these four different effects, you will always have different kind of background gradient animation. So you can kind of tweak them and have always a very unique and creative way of uh, choosing your own colors and, and making something that is very unique for your taste. So the thing is that this is very cool and we can call it that we are done here. But there is something else I want to show you. If we guys kind of take this wave wrap and move it before turbulent displays, we will have this wavy line, as you guys can see. This is, you know, very cool looking. But for me, there is something missing. And that thing is... I really want to animate the evolution of the turbulent displays. And what we will do is 
hold alt and write time 10. And we will have this kind of really subtle animation. I think that I really want to have a very, maybe ch change it to twist. Yeah, this is it. You see, you get a very cool looking background by just doing something that simple. So it's nothing complex, very easy to achieve, and it's so versatile that you can kind of create whatever shape that you are looking for. And that's a wrap. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you learned something new. This technique is very versatile in so many ways, so it opens up a broad possibilities to create different kind of animation. But you can always spice up your background animation using like text animations or 3D layers or 3D elements using Cinema 4D or elements. And there is something that I'm working on right now. So if you want to check out that video, um, I see you right there.